So a question I get asked a lot on this channel is how do we convert GameCube.RVZ or .RVZ files to .ISO files? So presumably you might want these .ISO files for using with a modded Nintendo Wii. So what we're going to do today is convert this and I'm going to show you how the process works and I'm also going to be showing you how this changes things with something like GameCube Backup Manager. So first of all we're going to open Open up GameCube Backup Manager, which is of course what we might use for a modded Nintendo Wii. So we're going to open this one up, and what I'm going to do is just mount my hard drive into the program itself. So I'm going to go to File Destination and I'm going to select my external hard drive, so that's going to be D. And right now I've actually got no games on the hard drive itself. So what I'm going to do is just go to my games folder and as we can see just here, we've actually got a game on the hard drive. And of course, a GameCube Backup Manager should be detecting this, but it's not detecting it because it's a .rvz file. And that's of course why we need .iso images for a program like this. So what we need to do then is actually open up Dolphin Emulator and this is a very simple way of doing things here. So Dolphin.exe and here's my game just here. If I right click on it and go to properties we're going to see at the top under path this is actually a .rvz file and we want to actually convert this then so we can use it with GameCube Backup Manager. So what we're going to do to do this is just right click on the game itself and we're going to find convert file. Format needs to be ISO or there's of course other selection of file extensions just there. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to just stick with ISO. We're going to go to convert and we need to select an output destination for this one. So what I'm going to do is actually send this one over to my external hard drive games folder. So GameCube Backup Manager can then detect it. Save. And we're just going to wait for this one to convert. Okay, so that one's now been converted and we're going to close out of here. First of all, I'm going to go to my external hard drive's game folder. And if I just expand this, we can now see we got the original RVZ file and we've now got the ISO file, which Dolphin Emulator is just converted. So we no longer need that RVZ file, we can just delete this one. If I then go back to GameCube Backup Manager and open up the program once again. If I then select my external storage device, so files destination, I'm going to select the D drive. And here we go, it's now detected my GameCube game because we've now got it in ISO. And that's it, so a very short and sweet video. So if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like, and I'm gonna leave a link in the comments section for a general emulation help guide playlist. And that's gonna cover videos just like this when you watch today. Anyways, again, thanks for watching and until next time, stay retro.